Marvel. I'm a very low-level supervillain that just accidentally killed Spider-Man. What happens to me now? I'm B-Man. I have, like, a stinger gun. I made it because my parents were stung to death by bees when I was at the park, and I wanted to extract terrible vengeance on the world using the thing that hurt me the most. I don't know what happened, but I tried to rob a bank with my stinger gun and managed to catch Spider-Man in the throat. I was thinking, oh, hey, I heard he's a flippy guy. He'll dodge. I'll get beaten up and thrown into Rikers Island and get some street cred and work on my bee technology with all the actual supervillains in there. But no. Blop. Right in the windpipe. I even nudged him a bit trying to wake him up and tried to give him CPR, but there was a big stinger in his neck and he's dead, so I ran away. The city threw this big mourning ceremony on the news and J. Jonah Jameson gave a tearful eulogy about him and apparently his name was Pete something. I don't know. I've been kind of hammering down the beers. I never meant to like, kill anybody. I know he had lots of enemies and even more powerful friends. And a lot of people are wanting old B-Man dead right now. I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but I'm very open to discussing possibilities. I can't believe I've done this. Okay, reveal that you were actually being mind controlled by one of Spider-Man's bigger villains, like the Green Goblin or Dr. Octopus. Lie. The Avengers will totally buy that you got tricked by Green Goblin rather than accepting that Spider-Man got killed by bees. No offense. Cry really hard about how you didn't really mean to kill anyone, and that you must have been manipulated. They will then focus on Dr. Octopus or Green Goblin, and mostly leave you alone. You'll likely go to jail, sure, but the second you put was likely manipulated by another supervillain, you are likely to get a pretty soft sentence. Now, Green Goblin or Doc Ock are likely to go along with this, because they are ego-driven jerks who will gladly take the credit for defeating their longtime foe. The only real problem here is that if they don't go along with it, you're screwed. But then, you killed Spider-Man, so you can probably kill an old man with robot arms, or a psycho on a rocket glider, right? Bees. My god. A guy with a skull on his shirt kicked open my door and took a shot at me. He missed and hit one of my highs and they swarmed him. He screamed a lot, stumbled, and fell off the side of the roof. Who was that guy? It was all, yeah, ha, ha, ha. feel the sting of B-Man, wall crawler, and poof. And then, I remember every freaking moment of it. It happened in front of a family with very small children. God, what have I done? Go to the Avengers, maybe the Fantastic Four, and throw yourself on their mercy. Because they have mercy, and every animal-themed villain that Spider-Man ever fought and there are a lot of them, does not. Rhino, Lizard, Vulture, Dr. Octopus, Chameleon, Scorpion, Kangaroo, Gibbon, Hammerhead, Jackal, Tarantula, and many more unimaginative goons are going to be gunning for the man that deprived them of the chance to get their revenge. Granted, none of them have ever had any luck with that on their many attempts, so your odds are pretty good on holding your own. But sooner or later, someone's going to punch your ticket. Be remorseful. Sound as sincere as you can manage, and maybe even try the I'll become a hero in his memory bit. Anything to get the New York hero clique on your side. Punisher aside, they're generally big on second chances, brand new day kind of resolutions. It's not like you knew he was allergic to bee stings or pollen or whatever. Side note, if your stinger gun uses something lethal, try to hide that. Maybe mix up a batch of less potent stuff and pretend that's what hit the wall crawler. The bad guys never win. You know that, I know that, and the real villains pretend they don't know it. 90% chance this is some kind of trick. Maybe you killed Spider-Man's doppelganger, or he faked his death, or the Avengers are about to jump around the corner and say boo. But that doesn't hold up in court, so you need a defense that will keep you safe until Spider-Man comes back and everyone forgets about you. You play this right and you can walk away. Maybe move to Australia, where there's no Varroa but you gotta play it right. Options? Become a hero. Join a team of villains. Hide. Spider-Man's got friends like Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. Hiding is not an option unless you're really good. I don't know of any stealth bee. Real villains aren't like you and me. Apart from the Brotherhood of Mutants, who wouldn't accept you anyway, 
They're mostly crazy people with too much power. If you team up with Green Goblin or Doc Ock, you're double screwed. Once when he betrays you or does something really stupid to you, and again when he loses to the good guys for the millionth time. So, become a hero. I see two paths. One is safe but kinda shitty. One is risky but could see you become someone important. Talk to the heroes. Tell the truth. Ask for a chance to make things right. You'll either be sent to jail as you planned, longer sentence for murder, or you'll join their team as a liability they can't trust who causes more problems. Become a vigilante. This is the fun one. You know the underworld. You've killed. You can do this. Assassinate someone big like Rhino, and you become a wild card. Nobody will trust you to be on their side, but they'll be hesitant to kill you. Then, do more good. When the no-kill heroes catch you, they'll go easy on you. Just come up with a good excuse for killing Spider-Man first. JJJ can help with that. First off, I'll get B-10 up and thrown into Rikers and get some street cred and work on my B technology with all the actual supervillains in there. But no. It's exactly one of my grievances with the prison industrial complex. Especially without reform, it can turn a low-level wannabe bruiser into someone like Shocker. With that said, my advice would be to talk to the Kingpin about it. He will sort you out. You just killed a guy that just about everyone in the superhero community loves. And even if they don't love him, they respect him. If you killed the Punisher, few would care. If you killed Deadpool, people would be pissed. But you could get away with it if you run really fast. But Spidey? Just about every hero team is gunning for you. Not to mention the entire city of New York. Turn yourself in and start begging. Okay, so this really blew up and uh... So, okay. Big update. Might be the last one. Alright, so I tried to go the dramatic Bee Man No More route and left my beehives and spare bee suits in various dumpsters and trash cans throughout Midtown and took a long, mournful walk away as I gathered my thoughts and Doctor Strange told me to not do anything crazy while he worked on a solution. Uh, okay? So, the bees did what bees do and looked for honey and I guess dozens of people got swarmed and apparently S.H.I.E.L.D. is after me now. A few superheroes tried to stop me but no one really knows what I look like under my mask and a lot of homeless dudes and petty thugs not calling homeless dudes petty thugs got into my abandoned suits to try and claim oh I killed Spider-Man so that kind of stewed into chaos and Doctor Strange tried to send me back in time to stop the madness I went back in time told past me not to overcharge the hydraulics in the stinger gun when he robbed the bank but just like it happened in my timeline I wasn't going to be sassed by a guy that looks like me because I'm pretty sure that guy that claimed to be me was some kind of scroll or identity thief. It's all over the FBI. Don't trust people that look exactly like you and are trying to prevent terrible incidents. So, I didn't know what to do. So I kind of got Spider-Man's attention when he was sitting on a hot dog stand a block away and told him that a man was trying to rob a bank and he died. So now I'm thinking of getting into a scary costume and trying to scare past me, the other past me me present me I don't know to stop with the bee nonsense before any other superhero or innocent person gets hurt I've got a really cool shirt with a skull on it and I know where alternate me's hideout is on the 19th story of my apartment complex it'll be easy I'll kick in the door sting her gun in hand and say hey pal I've got a bone to pick with you because I'm really good at playing the tough guy I'm walking into the elevator now wish me luck folks I can't offer much advice other than deleting this post and probably your whole account. Lawyer up, like yesterday. You should have created a throwaway account for this. You're an especially wanted criminal now, and posting from your usual Reddit account will easily reveal the true identity of B-Man. Lawyer up and lay low. Someone will find you, whether it's the law or any one of Spidey's big name foes. This is easy. Find a telepathic X-Man. Give them permission to read your mind, then have the telepath explain the rest to the Avengers. On the other hand, if you don't want some people you don't know read your mind, then you are pretty screwed. Quick update. Over the past 4 hours, Daredevil confronted me with Moon Knight, they got swarmed by bees and died in a tragic mishap, and an old woman's skin melted off and she had, like, a burning skull for her head. I just ran away. She had a really cool looking walker. Doctor Strange is helping me turn back time. He's telling me to stop killing heroes with bees. 
Also, I guess a thing called Galactus is coming? Hell, son. You're one of the big guns now. Embrace it. Walk into the nearest bar with no name and let them know that you just did what none of them could. Put together your own crew of costume outlaws and try to take down some really big scores. Spider-Man will be back eventually. The really big heroes never really stay dead. Neither do the really big villains though. And that's what you are now. I'd keep an eye out for Punisher. Actually, no. I would try to do everything possible that you want to get done before Castle inevitably finds you. Hell, I'd turn myself over to the Avengers. That's pretty much your only chance of getting somewhere that Castle can't. But even that isn't a guarantee. Actually, I'd try to find the Fantastic Four. If Logan is around, you might not make it into Avengers custody. Look man, just be glad it was Spider-Man you killed and not Wolverine. Cause he just gets mad when that shit happens, and the aftermath isn't fucking pretty once he gets his sea legs again. You see this peg leg? Fucker carved it with my parrot's beak before forcefully attaching it to me after he coughed out one of my heat-seeking cannonballs. Your best chance is find Doctor Strange or someone sufficiently magical to help undo it. Otherwise, the Green Goblin's gonna flay you alive for taking his beloved nemesis away. Considering that Spider-Man is basically every hero in the Marvel Universe's favorite hero, you should probably just consider killing yourself before any of them get to you. Expect to get snicked by Wolverine, thrown into the negative zone by the Fantastic Four, get blasted by the Punisher, get killed in both horrifically painful and simultaneous embarrassing way by Deadpool, hell, even the X-Men took Spidey in for a while, even if he is a mutate and not a mutant. Spider-Man from different universes will probably come after you, since Peter has had something to do with nearly all of them, and he has been their leader in some of their most trying times. I mean, even if you kill yourself, there's a chance they will make a deal with Mephisto to bring you back to exact the revenge. But hey, it'll be worth a shot. How come there are never any bat-themed heroes slash villains? Ever since my parents were killed, I've wanted to fight crime dressed as a bat. Indianapolis deserves a hero too. Get a missive out to the Evil League of Evil ASAP to inform them of your deed and request an immediate promotion to full membership. I know this is a rough time for you, but believe me when I say that the sting of what you've done will fade in time. But the ELOE board tends to sit up and take notice when anyone can take down an actual superhero. You've clearly got the gimmick, you've got the suit, and now that you've popped your hero cherry, Keep it on the DL that it wasn't exactly intentional. You're ready to move beyond mere sidekick status. If you're especially lucky, you might even get a response from the thoroughbred of sin himself. So to recap, B-Man kills Spider-Man with what is essentially a nail gun. B-Man gets attacked by a man with a skull shirt, but his bees caused Punisher to fall 19 stories to his death. He also killed Daredevil and Moon Knight with his bees, and also encountered some version of Ghost Rider before seeking the help of Doctor Strange. B-Man put his costumes and weapons into dumpsters and ditched the beehives, but the bees ended up killing dozens of civilians, so S.H.I.E.L.D. is now after him too. Doctor Strange sent B-Man back in time and tried to warn himself not to overcharge his weapons. Then he told Spider-Man about the bank robbery, and Spider-Man died since his past self didn't listen. He tries one last thing, using his cool skull shirt to scare himself into stopping the bee thing while past him is in a 19th floor hideout. Presumably he gets killed by bees from earlier when we thought that Bee Man killed Punisher. It was actually future Bee Man. I think that's the end and Bee Man is dead. But in case he's not, here's some advice. Go back in time again and stop yourself from warning Spider-Man about the bank robbery. Just don't tell him and he'll either not go to it or he'll go to it at a slightly different time, so events won't be the same. What do you think would happen to a low-level supervillain that accidentally killed Spider-Man? Let us know down in the comments, and like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.